Hello, this is Daniel from soundheadquarters.com. In today's video, we are building bass traps that fit in this bulkhead area, right where the bulkhead meets the ceiling. This is a critical spot to add bass trapping because bass builds up in the corners. And this spot being right behind the listening position in this control room was a spot that we definitely wanted to get treated for this client. Here's a little sneak peek of what we did. And I'm gonna show you step-by-step step the whole build process of building this bass trap for the bulkhead. And stay tuned for the rest of this entire studio build coming up on the channel in the next few weeks. So here's the starting position that we're starting with. There is that bulkhead there that needs to be treated. And we're gonna start by framing it out in two by two lumber. Um, and this two by two lumber is what's gonna hold our acoustic insulation in place. There you can see I'm just mocking up a piece of the two by two lumber. And I'm gonna mock up a piece of my trim. My final trim is gonna be a one by four pine just to match up with all the cladding that we put on the wall. And you can see I cut a 45 degree angle on my trim there so it meets up nice and flush at the bottom of the bulkhead. That's a small detail piece that's gonna allow us to get a nice final product when we trim everything uh, once all the fabric is done. So here, first step is going to be building our frames. These are just going to be four foot long frames. So our long cuts are at four feet and our short cuts are at, I believe this one was 10 inches, but yours may vary depending on the size of your bulkhead. Um, so I'm just screwing these together. I'm using two three inch construction screws on all four corners just to screw together a nice strong frame. And then I'm going to go ahead and mount these frames in that upper bulkhead. Now I'm just measuring equal measurements on both the bottom of the bulkhead and the ceiling just to make sure that when I screw this in, I know that my gap is equal and I'm at that 45 degree angle mark that we're looking for. So I'm just screwing this in with three inch construction screws uh, going through and screwing the frames together as well just to make everything nice and rigid. So there you can see we have all of the framing done. It ended up being uh, three four foot frames and then one just small one there just to make up the last spot. And now we can add our acoustic insulation. So for the interior portion of these base traps, we are adding rock wool safe and sound. And you can just cut this into a triangular shape to fit right inside that cavity of the base trap. And now that the interior portion is filled, we're gonna fill the rest with our rigid acoustic insulation that you can see there. Our rigid acoustic insulation is this Rockwell Comfort Board 80. And you can see the way that this just slots right into the frame. Unfortunately, I did not have a clip of me putting this into the upper base trap frame, but the same process applies. We just push and press fit right in between the wood. And with the acoustic insulation being at four feet long, we only have to trim it um, to the width. And you can see how that fits into the frame right there. So we had our three four foot sections and then the one small section and that insulation just press fits right into the frame. And there you can see the rest of the room. That video will be coming up real soon uh, for those base traps. Uh, but just wanted to focus on this upper bulkhead section for this video. So there you can see the fabric going up. We ended up using a um, a luxe velvet. Uh, this was like a cream vanilla color velvet. Uh, ended up looking really nice in the final product once the whole studio was built, but we're just stapling these onto those wooden frames. I'm using um, quarter inch T50 staples. Uh, you could use a handheld stapler. I'm using a pneumatic one just to save time and effort. Uh, here you can see the control room is upholstered. Once again, I'll have that other video for the rest of the room uploaded pretty soon, but here for the bulkhead, you can get a look at how it looks while it's upholstered. And I just trimmed off the excess fabric with the scissors there. And now that bulkhead is ready for trim. So I'm cutting these trim pieces that I already pre-stained and clear coated to match the walls. And what I'm doing is I'm cutting these on a 45 degree angle right at the edge of the wood lengthwise. And what this is going to be is these are going to be the width portions of the base trap trim. And that 45 degree angle is what's going to allow the trim to butt up nice and flush against the bottom of the bulkhead and the top of the ceiling. Uh, if we didn't do this step, it would just sit on the corner and it would have just kind of a weird kind of unfinished look. There you can see that angle that I'm putting on the one by four right there, just a 45 degree angle. Um, and you'll see how that lines up. And I'm putting the 45 degree angle on these left and right trim pieces too. You'll see how that butts up nice and flush right up against the ceiling and the bottom of the bulkhead. So we can just tack that in right now. I'm using 18 gauge brad nails. And I'm using one and a quarter or one and a half inch nails here to put these into uh, through the trim and into our base trap frames. And once that's tacked in, we got our left and right sides tacked in there. And now we can add these long lengths. And that 45 degree angle that we cut on the table saw is what's allowing this trim to sit nice and flat against the ceiling there, as you can see, and nice and flush against the bottom of the bulkhead there. 
This is what's going to give us that really nice built-in professional look that we're going for here. And there you can see all of the trim is installed. Looks like nice continuous base trap. The only thing that's left to do now is to just wood fill those two small butt joints. Um, and then I gave those a quick sand and just touch up stain and clear coat just to make sure that I think it's nice and cohesive. There you can see we added some additional uh, trim pieces around the base trap just to tie in the upper portions of the wall. And you'll get to see that in the full length video of this control room and live room build. There you can see just the wood fill I'm putting in between uh, the butt joints here on the base trap. So I just put in that wood filler. I also did mix this up with a little bit of sawdust as well, just to add a bit more, a bit more wood in that joint there. And then I just went ahead with my sander, sanded that down, added some touch up stain and some touch up clear coat. And there's the finished product. So here's a sneak peek at the entire build. I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek of this while I work on the full length video of this build. We did a full live room for this client, a full control room for this client, uh, custom wiring for a custom plate box. Uh, so he has all of his XLR connectors going into the live room here. Did some custom lighting. And here's a nice look at the finished control room. There you can see all the conduit for the wiring that we did, the acoustic walls with integrated base traps, the mixed position clouds, the front wall panels, all of the wood cladding that we did, all the details for the electrical work, and of course the bulkhead base trap, the main focal point of this video. Really appreciate everyone watching. Really hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys build your own studios. Please let me know how your builds go and make videos as well if you guys do anything differently or if you guys have any new ideas to contribute to the space here of acoustics and studio building. It would be awesome to see more content in this space for sure. And there's a little sneak peek at the final product there. Once again, thank you so much for watching. This has been Daniel from Sound Headquarters. Peace out.